Being king of the monsters, Godzilla deserves an awesome lineage. And what more awesome lineage could you ask for than being descended from dinosaurs? So this is yet another video in my ongoing series to prove that Godzilla is in fact a dinosaur. You saw my last video, it basically explained what makes a dinosaur a dinosaur and gives some evidence that I think makes Godzilla a dinosaur. But as tends to happen, science makes new discoveries, classifications change. Brontosaurus went away, then came back, Triceratops still under debate. But this new discovery narrows down everything to one characteristic, and that is a hole in the hip socket bone of a dinosaur. All the other characteristics are still characteristics of dinosaurs, they're just characteristics of other animals as well. But that's not the only thing I learned after doing some digging. I found some other evidence that Godzilla is in fact a dinosaur. So I present that to you here today. First, we're going to go back to 1954. That's when the original Godzilla movie came out. This is the original thinking for what Godzilla is. Now, Godzilla was actually based on an American movie from the previous year, 1953. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. And, big surprise, that movie was about a dinosaur who was frozen in ice that was thought out by a nuclear bomb test. And then it came down and ravaged all the way to its old stomping grounds to New York City. Sound familiar? Now Godzilla was actually, when they got into the creature design of it, they first wanted to make him an octopus, and then a gorilla, and then a whale, because the word kaiju of course means gorilla whale. But none of that worked out. Eventually they settled on a dinosaur design with parts from Tyrannosaurus, Iguanodon, which that was weird, and finally uh, obviously Stegosaurus with the plates on the back. There's also actually a paleontologist in the movie who says that Godzilla is likely come from a dinosaur from the Jurassic. So clearly the vision of the movie creators was that Godzilla was in fact a dinosaur. Now, fast forward to 1998, a paleontologist, Ken Carpenter, actually published a funny sort of paper about what kind of dinosaur Godzilla could be. And in this paper, all five pages of it, he describes the different features of Godzilla and how they correlate to different dinosaurs. A few of his points were that Godzilla's arm length and fingers actually correlated like dinosaurs did. The longer the arms, the more fingers they had. And as dinosaurs evolved, the arms got shorter and the fingers you know, less and less. The toe tracks provided in the movie that you see on the Island Ordo, the 1954 movie, there was only three toe tracks in the Godzilla footprint, which also correlates to carnivores. Sometimes there's a fourth toe present, but it never touches the ground, doesn't leave a mark. There was a theropod named Ceratosaurus, theropod being the two-legged, mostly meat-eater type guys. And he had small lumps of bones in a row on its back. So there is precedent there for being some kind of structures on the back. The paper is actually a really good interesting read. I recommend that you read it. I will put it in the description. It's very entertaining. So does Godzilla still conform to today's new scientific discovery of what it is to be a dinosaur? Short answer is yes, but let me show you. Using artwork is nice, but 2D doesn't get you the same type of effect as 3D, especially when, you know, bones protrude and block other bones. You can't see well. So I found a model of a Godzilla skeleton. Here you can see all the pieces laid out. Do you see the hip socket ones? Here, let me make that clearer for you. That's right. This Godzilla has hip socket holes, meaning he's still a dinosaur. So tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos where I think the next one is probably going to be what type of dinosaurs Godzilla could have mutated from. Now that paleontologist I mentioned earlier, Ken Carpenter, he gives you his conclusion on what dinosaur Godzilla could have come from. But I have a different theory.